My dear mother oft would regale me with the virtues of forgiveness in this life. A narrow window for the living to throw themselves upon the mercy seat of God, clamoring for the Savior's spilled blood, without which there is no remedy to succor the dead in the hereafter. There is no such window for the damned on earth, nor will there be forgiveness in the blood I shed. That is my gospel, and it shall be his damnation. means. Your means scantily pay for what you will. Don't you know who I am? <clears throat> who are you? Late. Simply defies all sensibility that your mother should insist we suffer with Lady Kavanagh. As if that tiresome Nicky has anything left save the good name of her dearly departed. Don't we make a match, Lord and Lady Eslington? You speak rashly. I have not yet inherited my father's peerage, nor you my name. We are betrothed. Precisely. We are both in line for a name. Mere formality. Three months for us, and as for your father, it is but a matter of time in being besought with drink and trollops. You shall inherit all. Land, title. Yet not honour. I am but the appearance of a lord. Honour? <laughs> you have land and title. Meredith, you are... A wonder, truly. Mm. Well, that is why we are engaged. Come. You saw him in the flesh, just up to the nines. Patience, love. You'll eat soon enough, and do him right in the way that he's done you wrong. <sighs> when was last you fed? Him, do you hearken to nothing I instruct? Look before you leap. Beware of those covered in his blood. Her undead love Charles spilt the attainted blood of a Christ follower. It was a lesson. Hard learned. Lilith warned me not to touch them. Yet, it seems strange to me that the blood of one reputed to have died and risen again would slay the undead. But there were other tales. Cold, love? Hmm. What do you say to a little warming up, huh? Hmm? Hmm. Blackie said the one who ate Christ's blood had come back to life. Blackie is a fool. And you are too if you hearken to that pratter. Hmm. Yeah? <laughs> George. That's my job, Me too. Now wait. <laughs> <laughs> So, I ate. In the name of the Father, the Son, and 
the Holy Spirit. Amen. But it did not fill me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. The main cause. Took a bit of doing to win the confidence of the footman. But I persuaded him to our cause. Water. Please. You're not the one whose thirst needs to be slaked. I beg of you, let me go. You don't remember me, do you? Why remember that which you have purposed to forget? To think my contempt of you could not be any greater. What is our acquaintance? Blood. Ni buju da wo shu she. Lucien? Father? Lucien, darling, release me. The way you released Mother and me? I, I have longed to see you. You forsook us! No, you... Look what you did! One of the undead. Your mother. You desire to see your handiwork. Does not beat. The heart beats nor for the undead, nor for those left to die. Oh, Lucien, did she speak entirely ill of me? None of my love for her, no, none of my love for you. She spoke of it. That and how your father's trading company brought you to China, your amorous dalliances with my mother, her pregnancy, your family's good name, the scandal and shame that led to our abandonment. Her death, my corruption. I was wrong to have left you both. She desires not your tears. Only my blood. Lucien, in the name of Christ, please forgive me. I am a sinner, and I repent. Lucien, he is spoiled for us. He is my father. You will perish. I would rather perish than shed more blood. Lucien, my darling, please release me. Either in forgiveness or in that which I so richly deserve.
Father, I forgive you. I lay my existence upon the mercy seat. Christ, forgive me. Jesus, have mercy. O oh, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Ugh. <laughs>